Welcome back. Tory Johnson, the much-loved manager of Sydney's Lint Cafe, is dead. Shot by his captor in the back of the head. It's the callous act of a man who knows that he is losing control. It would also mean that police had to move in, but not before one more hostage would make a break for freedom. In the Channel 7 building opposite the Lint Cafe, the police sniper sees the execution of Tory Johnson through his scope and calls hostage down. In the seconds that follow, Fiona makes a desperate dash for freedom. I was thinking two shots, he's reloading, and then I went for the front door, and then I ran out. The police, you know, you know, was screaming, you know, over here, over here. Is it blind terror or is it just, I'm out? Just, I'm out. Just, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm out. I just went for it. With one hostage dead, the police begin their assault. As quickly as that happens, the world explodes. The next minute there's lights, there's bright light, and was it inside or outside? I don't I just couldn't tell, and but the light was so bright and then explosion noises and then I don't know how well this is. There's this whole section that I just have no idea. I'm standing beside the gunman, and then the next minute I'm right back over the other side and near the wall, near the bench seat where we were. And how did I get there? I couldn't tell you. But then it's all going off and going off, and the noise was just deafening. And before I knew it, bang, 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 lights, things smashing. It just did it, did, and then did, 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 and glass, and everything. I was just lying like this. And I thought, why is it taking so long? Is he not dead yet? He's going to get up. From this? And I could hear the police yelling, police, police, you're safe, you're safe. And I remember covering my face with my hands thinking, oh, I'm not so sure I'm safe. There's, there's stuff going everywhere. And then it was, and then the policeman was over the top of me and, you know, you're safe and we're safe. But there were still so many questions, you know, like, well, I'm safe, but where is my mother? And what about the girls? I assumed that one of them had been shot out there. And of course there was Tori, you know, and so we're safe, but it's not, we're not safe. Will someone find me? Hopefully they won't shoot me in here thinking I'm him or someone or something. Can someone like, get me out? And at that very moment, this sniper man, soldier looking guy, big person, came behind, creeping behind and he immediately saw me and he reached up, put, picked me up. And I said, oh my God, he said, you're safe now. What was that moment like? Disbelief. Then 
I sat down, I didn't know whether to laugh or to cry or to, is this, am I, is this, am I out? Am I, am I alive? In the chaos that follows, Louisa believes that her mum is dead. In the moment on the, on the footpath in Phillips Street, I was astounded that I was still living. And, but I absolutely assumed that my mother would have died because it was so tumultuous in the room at the end. I did not think that she could have survived that. The siege is finally over. The gunman has been killed. Tory Johnson is dead. Soon we will learn that tragically, Barrister Katrina Dawson has died from shrapnel wounds. And three more hostages are injured, including Louisa, who was hit in the foot. It is an attack the likes of which Australia has not seen. This is a moment in our country's history when we were on a knife edge and I was very distressed going into surgery thinking that we could go one way or the other here. We could, we could become a country of haters or we could respond in a totally different way and it is the most amazing uh, blessing to me personally that we, I woke up post-surgery and my friends were coming and my family were coming and my anxiety was relieved, you know, relieved when they told me about the ride with me hashtag and what was happening, starting to happen in Martin Place and even in the tragedy of the moment and the uh, unsure situation for myself personally. I was greatly encouraged by the thought that um, we had resisted that temptation to fall into extreme collective anger and we were moving positively and trying to work through the grief. So I was encouraged by that. And um, Yes, Australia sh showed maturity. Yeah, yeah. It was just such a relief, mm. you know. Coming up. I almost wish I got killed in there. Survivor's guilt. It's the hardest decision you've had to make, but you had to make it. Yeah. <laughs> but they find strength in each other. I wanted to say thank you very much for all of the courage that everyone showed. That's next on 60 Minutes.